friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, I'm Patty, and on Thursdays, we do budget-friendly home decor and gift packaging ideas. Today, I'm gonna share with you seven super easy Easter treat ideas that you can make on a budget, and then I'm gonna show you exactly how to package them. If you wanna know how to do all that, stick around. I'll show you how. Thanks for watching. Love y'all. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna use some almond bark, and I'm gonna use a bunny mold. Go ahead and put it on a cookie sheet, and go ahead and fill up the cavity with M&Ms. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. Next, I'm going to take some um, white almond bark, and I'm just going to go ahead and put six squares in it, melt in the microwave for two minutes. Then I'm just going to start filling up my cavities. Don't fill it so full that it goes all the way to the top because you don't want them that thick. Then shake them down and make sure they're full and put it in the freezer until it sets. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and start taking them out of my mold, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to package them. I'm just going to take some of the pretzel bags and I'm just going to put four of them down inside of this bag. And this is a perfect size bag for this. Then I'm just going to take some uh, ribbon, tie it around the top part of it and tie it in a bow. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a little rabbit that I got at uh, Dollar Tree. I'm just going to put some double-sided adhesive tape on the back of it. And I'm just going to put it on the front. Kind of dress it up a little bit more. All right, there it is. Pretty easy. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. Okay, for this next one, I'm just going to use nine squares of the almond bark. And I'm just going to melt it down for two minutes. And I'm just going to make some almond bark candy with this. And then I'm going to go ahead and take some parchment paper, cover a cookie sheet, and I'm just going to pour my um, chocolate right on top of here. And then I'm just going to spread it out. You don't want it too thin that you can see the paper through it, but you kind of want it thin enough. Then I'm going to come in with some little um, eggs, some little robin eggs, and I'm just going to kind of randomly put them on here. And then I'm going to come in with some sprinkles, and I'm just going to sprinkle the entire top of it. And then you want to go ahead and put this in the um, freezer and let it set up for about 10 minutes. Okay, next we're just going to go ahead and start breaking it apart. Now, I broke it apart by hand and some of my little um, eggs came off of it. So I went back and got a knife and I'm just going to cut it with a knife. And that way you'll make sure that your little eggs stay on there. And just kind of cut it into little pieces and then we're going to go ahead and package it. And I'm just going to take a little Dollar Tree crate. I'm just going to take one of the little Dollar Tree um, bunnies and I'm just going to glue it right on front. Then I'm just going to take some plastic bags. I'm going to set them down inside of it just to kind of make sure that it's molded into the shape when I put it in there. And I'm just going to fill it full. And I had enough to make three of these that had that were pretty generous amount of candy inside of them. Okay, and I just tied off the top part of mine with a rubber band. And then I'm going to come back in with a ribbon and just tie it around the top part. All right, these were pretty simple, but they turned out super cute. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, for this one, I'm just going to take a foil lined cookie sheet and I'm going to take some um, saltine crackers and I'm just going to line them up. Now, you want to make sure you line them up to where they touch. And go ahead and fill your whole sheet full. Okay, then next, I'm going to take two sticks of butter, one cup of um, packed brown sugar, and I'm just going to put them in a saucepan, and I'm going to cook them. Now, I'm going to start these on medium, and you need to start getting them melted down, and then when they come to a boil, you need to cook them for five minutes. So just keep stirring them until they are completely um, heated up, and then when you do the five minutes, you want to make sure you constantly are, are stirring it. Then go ahead and spread the whole mixture onto your saltine crackers and cover them up completely. And this is kind of like a caramel is what it ends up being. Okay, next I'm just going to take um, nine squares of the white almond bark. And then I'm going to melt it in the microwave for two minutes. Okay, next I'm just going to go ahead and cover the entire um, caramel mixture with this white almond bark. Just make sure you get it completely coated. Okay, 
Okay, then I'm just going to take some sprinkles and I'm just going to cover the entire thing with sprinkles. This is a real quick and easy one and it really does taste great. And I got these little um, sprinkles at, at Kroger and then go ahead and tap it down and put it in the freezer and let it set up. Then go ahead and remove all your foil and then we're going to cut it into pieces. And I'm just going to take a knife and go down and cut it into little pieces, probably about um, maybe an inch and a half to um, two inches. And then I'll show you how I'm going to package these. I'm just going to take some cellophane bags. I'm going to stick it down in a little bunny cup that I got at uh, Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to fill it full. This one goes a long way. You can make a lot of these with this one batch. And I'm just going to tie a rubber band around the top part. And then I'm just going to tie a ribbon on it. All right, look how cute those turned out. Okay, for this next one, I'm just taking a um, parchment covered cookie sheet. And I'm just going to take these square pretzels and I'm going to line them up and fill up my tray with them. Then I'm going to take some white chocolate melts. I got it at uh, Michael's, and I'm just going to put one on each one of these. And then when I get it completely full, I'm going to put these in the oven under 275 degrees, and it took about maybe 10 minutes for these to melt down. Okay, once they melt, then we're going to go ahead and start putting some sprinkles on them. And don't worry about getting sprinkles on your, um, on your paper and wasting it. We're going to use those in another project here in a little bit. Just get them completely covered with sprinkles and then come back in and add an M&M right in the center of them. And then you're going to put this in the freezer for about 10 minutes. Next, I'm just going to take some of the same pretzel bags I used earlier and I'm going to put seven of these in each bag. This made quite a few with this one batch. And then I'm just going to take a ribbon and tie it around the top part. These would be great for co-workers or classrooms because they are quick and easy to make. All of these today that, that I'm doing were pretty quick and easy to do. And then I'm going to come back in with one of the little Dollar Tree little chicken wooden chickens. I'm putting double-sided tape on it and I'm just going to put it right in the middle. All right, look how easy those are and how cute they turned out. Okay, for this next one, we're going to use three cups of Honey Nut Cheerios. We're going to use five cups of Rice Check Cereal. And then we're going to use two cups of pretzels. And you can use any kind of pretzels you want. Just go ahead and break them up in pieces. And then we're going to get it all mixed together as soon as we finish doing that. And you want to make sure you mix it well. And then I'm going to take a full 24 ounce of almond bark. I'm going to cut it up in the cubes and I'm going to put it in the microwave and melt it for two minutes. Okay, then we're just going to pour the mixture completely over the cereal mixture and we're just going to mix it in good. You want to make sure that you do evenly coat the entire thing. And then I'm going to start putting some M&Ms and you can put as many M&Ms as you want to, but go ahead and do it after you've done the white chocolate because otherwise the white chocolate will, or the almond bark will cover up the M&Ms and you won't see them as well. And then the rest, the leftover of the stuff that we had from the other video, I'm just dumping that in there to use that as, up as well. Then I'm going to take two um, cookie sheets covered with parchment paper and I'm going to evenly distribute it between the two and I'm going to spread it out. Then go ahead and put it in the um, freezer and let it set up for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to go ahead and put sprinkles on it before I do that. Just kind of cover them up pretty good. And then freeze them. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and break them up into little pieces and then I'm just going to package them into like a little triangular shaped um, bag. And kind of put the little smaller pieces on the bottom or kind of put one in there and then just kind of squeeze it up a little bit and it'll start going down to the bottom. Then I'm just going to take the rubber band and tie it around the top part. And then I'm just going to tie a ribbon around the top. These made quite a few with this one batch. And I'm going to take a little tag and I'm giving you the link to that in the description below. You can download it and, um, and print them and cut them out. And then I'm just going to attach it around the top part.
These are pretty quick if you have a lot of people that you need to make them for, like a classroom. See how cute and colorful those are? Anybody would want to get one of those. This one, we're going to take a microwave save bowl. We're going to put three tablespoons of butter in there. And then I'm going to take five and a half cups of the little mini marshmallows and put them in here. And then you're going to melt it in the microwave for a minute. And then go ahead and grease a um, cupcake pan because we're going to use that to push these into. Once you've uh, melted that for a minute, stir it up. And then I put it back in there for one more minute. That's all it took. It just depends on what your altitude is, how fast yours, how fast yours melts. But go ahead and stir it up really well. And then go ahead and put your um, Rice Krispies in there. And that's six cups of Rice Krispies cereal. Just make sure that you mix it up real good. Now I'm going to show you what I did and show you ways that you can do it a little bit easier. If you let that set and cool off just a little bit, it's a little bit easier and it doesn't stick to your hands as much. And then I finally figured out using two spoons worked, but I'll show you what I did that really worked. If you just take a about a teaspoon of butter and rub it into your hands and get your hands good and greased up really good, you can make this go faster. It just really kept it from sticking to your hands if you put butter on your hands. And then go ahead and mash them all the way down in there into the pan so that they get the shape. And we're making little nests, little bird's nests. Then I'm going to take each one of them out and I'm going to push the middle down a little bit farther and I'm going to pull the sides up a little bit more to make it more like a nest. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and take four pieces of almond bark and melt it down in the microwave. And I'm going to go ahead and take my little birds and I'm going to separate them with a knife. Now this was the easiest way so that they came out a little bit cleaner. Okay, then I'm going to take my chocolate and I'm just going to put it down the sides where I pulled those apart and on the bottom. And I'm going to attach this to one of the little Rice Krispie nests. And then I'm going to put some little sprinkles on both sides like he's setting in a little nest of grass. And I'm going to do that to all of mine. Next, I'm taking some of the Dollar Tree muffin pans and I'm going to put six of these in each pan. Now, you can wrap these individually if you want to, but I'm going to give six of these at a time. And then I'm just going to put this in a plastic bag. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess and then I'm going to take some tape and tape it underneath on the back side. Okay, then I'm going to come in with some ribbon and I'm going to tie it around the entire thing. And then I'm just going to tie it off in a bow. And then I'm just going to add a little tag to it. And I've given you those down in the description below. You can print them out. And I'm just going to attach it with some um, baker's twine. And that was pretty easy. These are great for co-workers or, or somebody like that you don't have a lot of people to give to. Okay, for my last one, I'm just going to bake some cupcakes. And then I'm going to decorate them with a number two decorative tip. Like a little star tip. And I'm just going to squeeze it right out into the center of these. And then I'm just going to top them off with some sprinkles. Okay, and then to package these, I'm just going to take a cellophane bag. And I'm going to put some little um, grass in there, some paper grass. And then I'm going to add a little cup. And I got these cups at Dollar Tree. There, You get 12 of them in a pack. I'm just putting my cupcake right down the middle. I'm going to put a straw right in the center. And then I'm going to put it in my bag. This is a great way to package individual cupcakes so that because they don't get um, messy everywhere. Then I'm just going to add a rubber band right around the top. And then I'm just going to tie a ribbon around it. All right, just that easy. See, and look how cute those come out. And they're not a mess. They're already individually wrapped. So if you're having a party or taking them to a party, it's perfect. If you like these kind of videos, give me a like. If you want to see future videos, be sure and subscribe. And ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.